I'm Lori Little with TLC Real Estate, and today I'm here to show you a new restaurant in Manteca, the Mamas and the Tapas Caribbean Fusion Cafe. So come on with me and check it out. The Central Valley has so much to offer. As founders of the top real estate team in the area, we're amazed by our community. Whether it's food, entertainment, or services, the Valley scene is happening. We're the Lorries of TLC Real Estate. Come check out the Valley scene with us. Hi, I'm here with Ashley with the Mamas and the Tapas. Ashley's the general manager. And um, Ashley, why don't you tell us a little bit about why you chose this storefront and um, to open up here in Manteca? Well, we owned a food truck for the last five years and we've been looking for an area to open up a restaurant, preferably in Manteca because we've lived in Manteca for the last 15 years. Um, and my mother was actually getting ready to retire, but we found this spot and we figured, why not? What type of food do you offer? It's Caribbean fusion, so uh, my mother's half Puerto Rican, so we grew up with Puerto Rican food, so we decided not to stop there and we wanted to expand the cuisine into the rest, the rest of the Caribbean. Um, so we do Cuban, Jamaican, and Puerto Rican food. The name of the mamas and the tapas, that's pretty fun and cool. What does tapas mean? Tapas means small plates and snacks. Uh, it's a, it comes from, it's originated from Spain, uh, but we decided to adopt it. Um, a lot of restaurants and all over the place kind of adopted the name to use it as a, a fancy way to say appetizers or uh, something that you share with someone else. If you were to tell somebody to come in and try something, is there like a certain thing that's your favorite thing on the menu? My favorite are the empanadas, hands down. Um, our flautas are really popular, our Cuban sandwiches are really popular, our jerk chicken. Why don't you tell me a little bit about the sangrias that you have here? I know that you have a white and a red, and usually I just see red. Yeah, we have a white and a red. Um, just gives it a little bit of a different option. Uh, we may even add another version. Well, and it looks like you have a lot of micro brews to choose from as we well. We do. Yeah, we try to keep it as local as possible. Um, so we have we offer wines that are from Lodi, Amador Valley. Um, we have a couple brews on tap that are from Sacramento, the Bay Area. We try to keep it as local as possible because we want to support them as much as the community supports us. Looking around in here, it looks like you have a lot of family photos, um, a lot of um, photos from the past. Can yeah. you tell us a little bit about what that means? Is that something that is part of the restaurant? My grandmother, Juanita Call, she, uh, they're the Glarissa family. She's the youngest of 12 and she's the last one standing. So we decided to make this restaurant a tribute to them. Well, why don't you tell us where you're located, give us the address so people know where to find you and what your hours are. It's 1317 Historical Plaza Way in Manteca. We're behind Applebee's and across the street from Target. Ashley, I'd like to thank you for having us here today. And um, we encourage anybody to come out here and support the Mamas and the Tapas and support our local restaurants and communities. And let's keep our community thriving. Thank you so much. Thanks for coming in. All right, so now I get to try this wonderful food. So I guess I'll try this empanada first. Mmm, that is actually super good. You guys gotta come try this. They've got great food. Both of these items that I just tried were amazing. Come visit the Mamas and the Tapas today.